All right, let's talk boxing. Let's talk April 9th in the Alamo Dome. Ryan Garcia, who's 21 and 0, 18 knockouts. He's taking on a guy named Emmanuel Tago, 33 year old gentleman from Accra, Ghana. I could have said any town and you would not have known. So let's say Flint, Ghana. Emmanuel Game Boy Tago doesn't speak a ton of English, but he loves to talk shit. Between the I two. know that very day, you can smell Ghana pepper. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> so how does Barstool fit in in all of this? I'll tell you how we do. Every great fighter has a great corner. All right, listen, so we got this idea, but the whole thing hinges on whether or not De La Hoya goes for it. Wish me luck. Oscar. Yo. Mr. De La Hoya, I'm large from Barstool. I know a lot about you. Okay. I'm a big fan. Big fan of you since you won an Olympic gold medal, and a big fan of what you're doing on the promotional side. I think you could be doing more with the Garcia to go fight, which is coming up. Okay. And the answer is these two gentlemen. This is Adam Ferrone, and this is Nick Tarani. They don't look like a lot on the surface. They might not be a lot in actuality, but I think they're gonna inject a little bit of bar stool into this fight, and I'm gonna change their lives, I'm gonna change your fighters' lives, mm. and I'm gonna change your life, and I just want a little piece of it somewhere along the line. What do you think? You know, it's, it's the most ridiculous idea I've ever heard. Okay. But I like it. You like it, right? What could we do to show them their place? When the fighters spar, training, they put the headgears on, their, their cups to protect their Correct. cojones. Yes. For some reason, they always have to go to the restroom right before they get into the ring. So okay. one of the guys is going to have to basically hold the athletic sports. Yeah. How are you feeling? That's the most important thing in the world to me right now. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Ready to fight? Yeah? Yeah. Healthy, strong? Mara et is strong. Okay. This guy, he just has to go. Just has to go. The pepe is smell. The pepe is smell? Smell the pepe, the Ghana pepe. I'd like to come to the party with you afterwards. No. I am going to give you a gift. Thank I have you. two employees that we think are going to be tremendous helps to either camp. First guy that I have is a guy named Adam Ferrone. He's a pretty boy. Good looking guy, very professional. The second guy, his name is Nick. Okay. He's a very hard worker. So it's Roan right. or it's it's Nick. It's an easy here. choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like Roan for you. This is your guy. And I want you to have him taking care of anything that you don't want to do. Okay. I think you're really gonna like him. It's a marriage cool. made in heaven. Okay. I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you Thank fight you. week. Thank you. Right? Roan. Nick. No. I get you for one sec. <laughs> All right, so April 9th, Ryan Garcia versus Emmanuel Tago, barstool in the corners. You're going to be in the corner of one Ryan Garcia. He's a hard hitter, devastatingly handsome, and I think you and him, peas and carrots. Emmanuel Tago, he's 32 and 1. He's from Accra, Ghana. He doesn't even have a proper headshot. This, this is a real piece of paper right here. That looks, looks like, like a paper. model headshot. He looks like he's on the cover of a paper. romance novel. It's not right, a romance guys, it we're, we're getting away from it. That is right? a fighter. Let's, let's, let's right. calm down. Right. You're going to San Diego. You're going to Florida. But you're not going with your hands empty because I'm going to send you with some Ghana pepper. Take that with you and see what you can do. Yeah. Heavy underdog, heavy favorite. Yeah. So pack accordingly. First guy up. This handsome son of a bitch, my man Roan. So Roan is gonna get embedded in Ryan's camp. I think they're probably gonna form a friendship, and what happens when Roan gets involved is almost always something good. Just landed in San Diego, big trip, important trip. We are about to go to Ryan's gym where he's training. Completely undisclosed location, closed training camp, secret training camp. I'm a little bit apprehensive, like are they going to welcome me? Are they going to chastise me? Are they going to beat the shit out of me? I don't know, but I'm open to all the options. I, I know boxing. I'm a boxing guy. Oh, 
Chris. My guy. Oh, man. Legend. Training partner, right? Good to see you, bro. What's up, man? I'm Ron. Good Ron? to see you, man. Nice to meet you. How man. are you, bro? I'm good. Nice to see you, man. Heck yeah. I fucking love Ryan Garcia, man. I'm here to help you in any way that I can. I like that mentality. Yeah. I'm here to be on your team. I'm here to elevate you. I'm here to get in the cracks. I'm here to do the things that maybe other people can't do. You ready, Ryan? Yeah. Okay, will you, will you tell him what? Bro, what no. You what the hell? What the fuck? fuck? No, no. You're getting the spit all of your hands. This is all spit? What does a good team look like? What makes a good team? Everybody got to know their role. Everybody uh, has to be calm, go beyond what it's called. Put that on your liver. I don't even know where my liver is. I bet a fight man, corner man, cut man, anything you need. Get the bucket ready. He's gonna spit, he's gonna need to spit. Fuck, oh fuck, boy, fuck, fuck. Oh, come on, oh, shit, oh! You got the spit all over your hands. So if you have some like motivating words, knowing that's gonna fire me up, that might change something. You own the entire ring. That's your home, that's your house, that's where you live. Talk I've never it. seen anything like this. This is a whole new experience right, for me. Right. I've never seen lightning strike like this. I've never, never, seen, I've never heard thunder that this, that's this loud. This is where you make your bones, you make, make your baby, you make your lunch, your dinner. I'm ne I don't think I'll ever forget this moment in my life. This is a core memory that I'm building in. This is like that Pixar movie about memories and feeling. So now it's like my chance to be great. All right, so what's the styles in this fight? Ryan Garcia has very quick hands and he has power in both hands. So we're gonna expect Ryan Garcia to throw punches and bunches. Tago is a little bit different. He's a little bit more of an X factor. I don't think he plays by the rules. So I decided to send this weirdo son of a bitch, Nick Tarani. Florida, the spit bucket of America. While some come for pleasure, I'm coming for pain. Not like, I'm arriving for pain. I'm expecting Nick to go there, change spit buckets, wash cups, do whatever Tago asks him to do to try and secure a victory. He's gonna fucking win. It's a no-brainer. Not a lot of people know, Nick Tarani was born in Ghana, so there's that type of connection. <laughs> they call you Game Boy. Is that after the Nintendo, the video games? Me, it's a game. You can't play me, you, I'll play you. Okay. I control my opponent because me, I'm the driver. You are the passenger. Emmanuel to go. Yeah. He has to go. He has to go. He has to go. To go, to go. I was watching you train. You have laser focus. As opposed to Ryan, he's so focused on social media, TikToking. Why is he so bad at shit talking? You know, he doesn't have the, the bars. He doesn't have it. You told Ryan that he would taste the Ghanaian pepper. I the know two. that very day, you can smell Ghana pepper. Yeah. A lot of people didn't quite know the impact of what that meant. So with me, I have Ghanaian pepper. He doesn't even have the right thought process. <laughs> the delivery is just not there. Why are you smirking? Try. Ah. Jesus Christ. Ah. Yeah, he wants to be a killer, but you, know, yeah. you can't be a killer as a gazelle. You see no good for you. If I get you more pepper, you die. I'm just trying to see where I fit in. At the end of the day, it's all about the fighter. My management good, my teammate good, my coach good. You know get option to my side. And here sits Roan and Nick. Roan staring at a handsome boxer, and Nick's mouth on fire with Ghana pepper. One question bouncing around in their heads, how can they get their boxer to the next level? Sign the waivers. Hey. Uh, what waivers? I think we need to get a Ryan Garcia impersonator. Give us a little footwork. Give me a punch or something? Like, right here? Whoa. Yeah. What better place to take the game, boy? Than to play some games, boy. Hey Ryan, you a fucking No matter what happens, you and me are forever motherfuckers.